That was a series of stools in Washington, Lucretia Mott, Garnet Patterson, and Dunbar High School. Those three trained me, you know, and they all had teachers who wanted very seriously to educate you in a way that you could face what was coming. In Washington, where we lived, um, <clears throat> our neighbors who lived next, right next door was a doctor, Dr. Hal Stratton was his name. And I would see him go out every day with his little medical bag and looking straight ahead, knowing he was going into areas that didn't want him there because wherever he went, he improved things. And the fact that I would hear about him and the school, Howard University, that's what I want to do and that's where I want to go. I, I was going into zoology to teach it or study it. One day, uh, I'm looking through the microscope at some little something that didn't really mean much to me, but you know, I did. And Dr. Drew happened to walk by. Dr. Charles Drew was chief of surgery at Friedman's Hospital. Friedman's Hospital was the major hospital for people of color. And he saw me looking through this microscope and he said, what are you looking at, guys? I, I don't know. Uh, he said, well, you got an instrument there that's gonna change your life if you, you know, really pay some attention. And those few words sort of made me realize, well, this is something here that might really be a big deal. Would you be interested in going to medical school? Bam! Just like that. I couldn't answer. I was just overcome. Medical school, Dr. Drew? He said, there's one spot open, I think, down there. Why don't you run down there and talk to them? And it was as simple as that. This is where I trained at Mercy Douglas Hospital that had most of the black physicians who needed a hospital attended. It turned out that it was to be the most desirable hospital to go to. Mercy Douglas had to do twice as much to get that much done with, with one half of what the others had. Dr. Dr. Charles Drew was one of the major teachers there, but just by watching him and learning about some of the things that he did in, in, in being a doctor, a black doctor in a segregated city, to be able to reach the heights that he did. They wrote books about him. He developed a method of taking blood plasma and mix it in a situation where it would not create a problem, but would take the place of blood for a period of time. And that was a lifesaver. I mean, he saved many lives by using serum and serum uh, substitutes. Over the years, people and scientists began to understand what a real major gift that was. My relationship with him was probably the best, you know? He represented something that I felt I would like to do like he was doing. That was a key point in allowing me to decide which direction I wanted to go because World War II was going on and they wanted all doctors and all nurses. I volunteered to the Navy rather than to be uh, pulled out by the Army and was fortunate enough to get one of the last openings in the submarine divisions. In the Navy, it depends on which section of the Navy you were in. Some of it was heavily segregated. I had an incident where I was able to save someone's life who had fallen overboard uh, when we were out at sea. And all of a sudden, that opened all the doors for me. They thought I was okay. The Navy was an experience for me, a good experience. But I found myself in a situation at a Boston hospital where they were just beginning to learn about this RH negative blood thing. RH never was a term to describe a part of a blood system that was not able to continue 
from mother to baby. And so many babies didn't live as a result of that. So there was a good deal of attention paid to what is Rh negative? What do we do with it? How do we handle it? I was fortunate to be in that group who was doing that study. And so when I left Boston and came to Philadelphia to open a practice, I also had the ability to do some teaching as a result of what I learned in Boston. Why did I choose to be a pediatrician? First of all, my feeling about children who need help. Anything I could do, I wanted to do there. I think as I remember, there was one pediatrician, black, and he barely got in before I did. It turned out that we were able to set up a office, pediatric office, you know. They never had one anywhere, you know, for where black children could be taken. And before we knew it, we were being overflowed. Basically, it slowly began to change as the neighborhood realized these people know what they're doing. They're helping my children. And so some of the things, the negative dropped away. If I played any role whatsoever in getting the better care here, I've done everything I wanted to do in my life.